So the Sangha is the community of Buddhist monks and nuns in Myanmar. It's a very large community, more than a half a million uh, individuals. However, in Myanmar Buddhism, the nuns uh, have a much less influential role. They receive much less patronage, much less donations, uh, and they have much less influence over society as well. So this is really a male-dominated religious structure. Uh, and Buddhism is very important culturally in Myanmar. It's a very religious country, it's a very Buddhist country, uh, and so uh, monks uh, particularly have an enormous amount of influence over all aspects uh, of life uh, in Myanmar. Throughout successive eras in Myanmar, the religious community and monks have been at the forefront uh, of political struggles. They were key in the anti-colonial movement and the, the struggle against British rule. Uh, they were key after independence at various moments of political turmoil uh, at, the, at the front line of protests and having an enormous, enormous influence. So I think the expectation was, after the military coup in Myanmar two years ago, that you know, the monks would play a significant role in, in the, uh, the, the demonstrations and in the uh, movement uh, against the coup. But that never really happened. Uh, the monkhood hasn't really been involved either in strongly supporting uh, the coup or in the anti-coup uh, movement, the resistance movement either. Some individual monks have been very prominent on, 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 on one side or the other, but the Sangha as a whole has been rather silent. Uh, and that's very significant. But also it raises the question why? Why has the Sangha been silent this time? That's not a, a simple question, there's, there's a quite complicated set of answers to that. But to boil it down, the Sangha was politically conflicted after the coup. They clearly saw uh, the public sentiment was you know, overwhelmingly against the coup. At the same time, many of the monks didn't feel comfortable uh, taking a position in opposition to the coup because that entailed taking a position in support of the NLD and the ousted government. And that government had cracked down quite successfully on radical Buddhist nationalism, the very conservative forces, who'd been very powerful. Uh, but, but the NLD had managed to kind of uh, constrain. Uh, and so they felt that the NLD was, was, uh, was not a political force that they really wanted to give their backing to. On the other hand, they didn't feel comfortable supporting a very violent military. They knew that would, that would set them against public opinion. And so most remained kind of in this conflicted position and, and not taking a, a clear stance. The last point is that the, uh, the anti-coup resistance movement led by the National Unity Government has had a very different political flavor to much politics over recent decades in Myanmar. It's been youth-led. There have been a lot of young women at the forefront of that movement. Many of the young people are rejecting the political orthodoxies of the past, but they're also questioning the traditional role of Buddhism as a very male-dominated uh, conservative structure in society. It's a, it's a political landscape that doesn't look very enticing uh, to a Buddhist uh, clergy. And for that reason, the monks have, have, have taken a kind of uh, a back seat. Now, the absence of the monks has left that space to be filled by the younger generation, by the young women leaders, and that's been very significant. But we shouldn't think that this new politics that is being built, you know, is, is already uh, a job done. Uh, Yes, the, uh, the anti-coup resistance movement has managed to forge new alliances, a new way of thinking, and that is very significant. But Myanmar society is very conservative, it's very religious, and so there will be, at some point, a conservative backlash to this more secular, more multi-ethnic kind of politics. So the implications of this are that you know, anyone who's uh, working on social stability, intercommunal uh, relationships in Myanmar, uh, organizations doing community development work, doing work on, on intercommunal harmony, uh, these kind of organizations, uh, it's important to continue to engage with uh, the, the Buddhist Sangha and to understand their important role uh, in society. And it's important to be alert for signs of uh, intercommunal problems, of tensions uh, that can arise and be, and be ready for a situation where, um, uh, where, where these, these, these tensions reassert themselves.